traveling the country, playing AAU. You win any big time tournaments? I'm pretty sure you played in some big time tournaments. Yeah. Did you win any big time tournaments? No, man. We we didn't really win a whole lot in AAU. Like we we were probably the best team in New York. You know, one of them. Um, you know, but we really didn't like. We didn't we. When we went to Vegas, like we would get beat, like when um, the Oakland Soldiers team, when LeBron, when LeBron, LeBron yeah, duh. we it had what Leon, Leon Poe, yeah. um, wasn't Kendrick, Kendrick, uh, and then Ayendi, you and like that's like dudes, dudes like Ayendi was dumb night, yeah, yeah. <laughs> played at Cal, right, um, so like you know we were, I think we went to the Final Four one time, um. But never like we never won any big tournaments. We were winning, you know, the little dinky right. tournaments. You mentioned um, Five Star, which mm -hmm. was big time at that time. Um, rest in peace to Tom Pachowski and Howard Garfield. Yo, facts. Um, did you attend? And you said Super Soft Camp as well. You attended. Did you attend any other big time Nike. camps? Any? Nike I went to Nike. All American mm -hmm. camp. Yep. Um, Who was there? I know there was a little war back then. That's when wars were starting to pick up a little. You had ABCD and Nike All American. Right. Camp so that was the time for kids to go to camps. That was the time that Bron went to ABCD mm. and then showed up to Nike. But there was something with Adidas at that time that I think you know what I mean. And right. So like Adidas was like, you know, and I think he had like they a, thought they had him locked up. Yeah, he had like a wrist injury. <laughs> <laughs> Which he might have had, I don't know. But like, um, you know, I mean, Chris Paul was there. Um, who, you know, point God. Mm -hmm. Also in the old three class. Good God. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, you know, Chris Humphreys. You Good know, player. from Minnesota. We had, I mean, everybody was at the Nike camp, you know. Um, but that's kind of when it started. They started like doing, right. you know what the I mean? started happening. Um, so yeah, I went to that camp, man. And, and, uh, and it was cool. I mean, I loved all that stuff. I loved Five Star was my favorite. Favorite? Because I was a worker. So I loved doing that. Like, there was no, like, politics. Who do you think ran their camps the best? Five Star? I always say Five Star. Gotcha. Gotcha, man. Best Shout camp. out to Five Star. Best man. camp ever, man. Shout out to Five Especially Star. Especially when they had college coaches working it. Right. You were learning from Patino, and, like, it was crazy. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. We don't have that, and we probably never will. To get hands never. on high major coaches giving you their, their their words. I mean, you're, you're learning from Rick after he won a national championship. That's what I'm saying. Ship. Right. And then uh, Hubie Brown. I remember, it, like, you get picked to do certain things, and Garth loved me, and Hubie was doing something. Let's talk about Hubie real quick, man. Yeah. Because this is a dude that has forgotten more basketball than he probably remembers, man, and, and always yeah. spewing game. And there's plenty of clips of him spewing game at five-star 20 years ago, right. you can just type in Hubie Brown, five-star basketball on YouTube. Yeah. Talk about Hubie at five-star. Yeah, I mean, it's just knowledge, man. It was like attention to detail. Um, the way he communicated. Like, there's so many different levels to it. Like, you can know everything. But if you can't communicate it, sometimes it doesn't matter what you know. It's, it's, and you might not know anything, but be able to communicate and that that's that's a huge thing huge i think barrier yes huge barrier right uh, With rockefeller rock rockefeller's quoted as saying he would pay the highest salary to the individual on the staff with the best social skills not the smartest not the most degreed up right the best social skills right so let, let's elaborate on that a little bit more. yeah and i like going back to qb i mean it was like i mean i love whenever he's doing a game like i love love it, it. Love because it. he sees it and he almost sees it like in a simplistic manner um but he kind of tells it from like his point of view. And it was always just great to, you know, again, I was just blessed to be able to get to those, like my pops taking me to that. For those opportunities. Shout out to Mr. Ralph. Man. Yeah, major shout out. You know, and, and again, that's just me being blessed. Like I wouldn't have made it without him. Um, you know, and, and yeah, and I think communication is, is, is the biggest thing. Like if players trust you, you're good. Absolutely. If players don't trust you, they're not going to listen to you. Um, and if they don't think that you're in it, and this goes all the way down, I think, from the top to the bottom, if they don't think that you're in it for them, if they don't want to play for you, they yeah, won't. You're cooked. You're As done. As a coach, trainer, whatever have you, you may last another five years, but yeah. 
those five years are dwindling down, my right. man. And I play for good coaches. I play for bad coaches. And, and so I kind of like, as a player, I knew like, when I go out there, I'm, I want to win for you, you know. Right. Um, or you go out there and it's like, bro, I'm not really trying to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear what you're I saying. I know exactly what you mean, man. Um, communication is huge, and like you like you alluded to, Hubie, one of the best communicators in the game that have has probably ever lived. We can say that now because the man lives has lived long enough. I agree. And um, man, it's a, it's a blessing. He, he's still blessing all of us, um, mm -hmm. calling some of these games and giving these lessons that he gives on, on national TV. So yeah. much love to Hubie Brown, man. No question.